Hello and welcome to my video. Today we are opening up Animal Crossing again and filming an island tour. Remember, if you like the video, please remember to leave a like and if you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe to my channel. Today we are visiting an island called Paradise. The island rep is Amber, who will be our tour guide today. Amber has a total of 1500 gameplay hours spread across two islands. So we'll start as usual by opening up the map. So this is what paradise looks like from the top. See the, the villages that she has. Now we'll go and meet Amber. Hello. Hi, Chessie. Hey. So first things first, tell me about paradise. So I wanted paradise to be a practical island with a little bit of whimsy in it. I wanted it to be somewhere you would visit and think, I'd like to live here. Um, everything's accessible and it's easy to navigate so that you can actually play the game as it's meant to be played as well as it looking pretty. Oh wow, sounds great. So this is your entrance. I see we've got yeah. the, uh, the doll um, merch, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted it to be as close to a, a real town as it, as it could be. And I have to compliment you on your tour guide outfit. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. My designer skills at work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll let you lead the way. When you come straight out of the airport, you've got the shops here. And just to show how practical I am, my house is right by the airport and the amenities. If you'd like to go <laughs> in and have a look, and that will give you the hint of whimsy. Of course. I would love to see your house. Also, I love your door plate. I've not seen that before. Oh, where did you get that from? That's from the the app, the online app where you redeem your points every day. Oh, nice. Oh, I'll, I'll have to do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm in. This is the entrance room. It's very bright and colorful. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Oh, wow. So which room should I go to first? So I'm very predictable and the bathroom is on the right. <laughs> Same as me, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, we'll go in there. <gasps> it's a <the> jungle. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, let's do a spin. Oh my God, look, it's stunning. It's so peaceful in here as well. And the Mario thing on the wall. <laughs> oh no, I'm supposed to get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> to the left is my bedroom. You'll be able to guess my favorite villager. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I love it. It's all it's so earthy. Yeah. With the mushrooms. I wanted a natural vibe to the house. I think. Yeah. It's great. I love the floor and the sunflower rug. Yeah, sunflower rug is definitely a good addition. Okay. Now we're going to the room at the back. Yeah, that's my workout area, greenhouse area. It's like a Zen room. Yeah. It's like a meditation room. Let's sit down and meditate while we spin. <laughs> it's very green. I love the um, wallpaper from the Sanrio. Yes, that's my favourite set of the Sanrios. Nice. Yeah, me too. Upstairs is the kitchen. So, off to the kitchen. Okay. Oh, it's more like wooden vibes in your kitchen it's all very still very earthy and natural i love it yeah oh, i love the wallpaper as well it's like that cottage cottage vibe and the food in the middle of the table yeah i want it to look like it's lived in i agree and you got the fish <laughs> the fish airing yeah. 
Well, right, we'll go back downstairs then to the basement. Oh, I remember this room when I visited before. <gasps> what is that item on the end there? This display. I've not seen that. Let's sit in the middle. This is the meditation room, did you say? Like the stack of of, of dolls. Yeah, the stack of yeah, dolls. Yeah, it was it was one of the seasonal items, but I can't remember for which nice. event. This is such a beautiful room. Feels so tranquil. I I love Japanese art and architecture, so I, I had to have one room that represented that. This house is very inspired by Japan, you can tell. Okay, so I think we're done with this house now. Yeah. Hello again. Hello. Hey. Okay. Where to now? Okay, so as a guest, the first thing you'd want to do is to check into a hotel. So we would go up through the town and this bit here, I don't know, I love this bit. It's so simple, but... Yeah, it's, it's, I, I it's love a it. lovely little courtyard. Oh, look, we have a tourist. Oh. <laughs> An island visitor. <laughs> is having an ice cream and taking and being an Instagrammer. <laughs> <laughs> so my residents are all off to the right and we'll have a look at that later. But what okay. every tourist needs to do is to check into a hotel. Of course, I will go and check in. Oh, we have our concierge here who's come to meet us and take our bags. Hello, concierge. <laughs> Please do show us around. <laughs> Only the best for paradise guests. <laughs> of course. Oh, so we have our first room. Oh, thank you. Right, let's sit in the chair. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Are you expecting a tip now? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And we've got like our own kitchen diner, everything. Brilliant. Yeah, all the mod cons. Ooh, another room, but completely opposite. So we've had a, like a dark furniture room and now we've got the light furniture room. The rattan white furniture is such a sought after set as well. It goes really well with that um, wallpaper. Yeah, I agree. The Aurora wallpaper is beautiful. Right, on to the next one, sir. Oh no, I walked in on someone <laughs> on the toilet. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry, madame. <laughs> Anyway, let's have it while she's doing her business. We'll have a quick look. <laughs> a mermaid themed room. I love the themes in each room. You can really tell you've thought about what design you wanted for each room. Yeah, I, I, I like putting things together. Yeah, and collecting the sets. You're obviously a great collector. <laughs> Oh, it's the laundry room. Yep. <laughs> Please may you press my, press my trousers, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the wallpaper and everything goes really well in this room. Oh, and you've got the maid outfit and the concierge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you can still tell that you're very influenced by... Um, Oriental style, the imperial furniture set, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was, it, for, for the penthouse suite, it had to be something luxurious looking. And that bed is the most luxurious yes. looking one. I completely agree. And look, you've even got the little suitcases in here for the travellers. Yes. I love this. It's very fancy and snazzy. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I think we're done with this house. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> so, how many houses do you have on this island? I have five in total, including my own house. Five houses? Yeah. Wow. A lot of hours. You've left the house, but you haven't seen all your options for overnight stays. So if you follow me across, there's a nice little outside seating areas for guests only. Oh, I'm following. Oh, look how we can have a drink. Lovely. So this is like the private area for guests. And for those who fancy the glam... You stay here when you, you can come up here and sit and relax. Ah. Yeah, looks really nice at night as well. Every island, if they want to have tourists, has to have tourist attractions. So we're going to go to the Folly, which is the second of my extra houses. And this is my newest area. This is my attempt at making a shrubbery. A shrubbery. Ah. And you have all the different plants. Looks lovely. You've got all the ones in bloom as well. Very, very, very well done. Yes. So this, this to me was a stately home that's needed to turn to a tourist attraction in order to pay the bills. So it's got a woodland walk to Ooh, nice. the left of it and a little cafe to the right. Oh, lovely. Oh, look, and we have more tourists here enjoying a coffee by the um, stately home. Yes. Lovely, right, we'll go over to the um, woodland walk. Oh, what a lovely sign. <laughs> Cross the bridge. So many pretty flowers here as well. Did you grow all of these yourself? Yes, yes, I am overrun with flowers. Yeah, they look great. They look really great. Lovely area. So beautiful. Right, we'll go back to the house then. Yeah. To the stately home. So the idea of this is a bit like a Madame Two Swords area so when you go in you'll be able to pose behind the costumes okay perfect i'll do that straight away then madam two swords here we come oh wow this is amazing can i pose behind here yes here we go i'm a princess yay i'm a princess yay what a lovely entrance room. You've really captured the magic, I have to say. I was desperate to use the Celeste items for something and I really struggled. So we have some more themed rooms in this house. This one's an Egyptian theme. Oh, that's a lot of money in that corner. Look at those gold bars. A sewing and craft room. Ooh, those donuts are making me hungry. Teddy bear's picnic. Yeah, it had to be done. I like this one. Yeah, I agree. Everyone's got a teddy bear's picnic. Oh, no. <laughs> I like this with the um, confetti, not, um, what's it called? Sakura. Ooh. One coffee, please. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so cute. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we have the ice bar. 
I feel so cold sat here. Brrr. Hello again. So tired after your bit of tourism? Yes, very tired after all of my tour after my large tourist trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, part of Come to Paradise is obviously to relax as well. So let's go to the retreat, which is our luxury spa. By the way. Right, I'm looking forward to a spa day. Yeah, and that's by the way, this is our picnic area, which looked lovely. Oh, it's right. a little birthday <laughs> area. Yeah. It's Animal Crossing's birthday. One year anniversary. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very pretty. And this is my secret beach where the aliens come. <laughs> hey, so just across there, just on the other side, that's my little mystery island area. So all I need is like a little villager walking backwards and forwards. <laughs> oh yeah, it does look like a mystery island. How clever. And then down here, we come to the retreat. Okay, so I'm going in for a spa day, am I? Go put your feet up. <laughs> Oh, the entrance. I really like in this room how it really feels like the entrance of a hotel. I'm going to the right first. That is the shop. I get to buy a souvenir. So creative. Okay. Ooh, someone's having a spa day in here. <laughs> we are a popular tourist destination. I love the wallpaper and the floor combination in the, in the nail bar. Not colours I would have thought to use normally, but I was just experimenting and they just really worked really well. I would like to get my nails done, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Such creative ideas. Thank you. Oh, we have a workout area. Yeah, got to stay fit. <laughs> Every good hotel has a gym. <laughs> so cute. Now we have the events room. I really like your use here of the band area. It really makes the room seem like an events room. Secret passageway. <gasps> Ooh. A witchy room, a witchy lair. Yeah, you don't want to drink our protein shakes. <laughs> oh God, I'm leaving. <laughs> Well, I've had a very relaxing time in the retreat after my day of sightseeing. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, we've got a geisha and someone taking a picture. <laughs> That's adorable. We should get a tourist boat. Okay, come stand with me. <laughs> We're all here. <laughs> Right, there we go. Where to? So I will show you, so just up here is just like a little extra area and then we will make our way to the bar because you're probably thirsty. 
<laughs> yeah, every good tour ends at the bar, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is just like a little picnic area, zen area. And this is my rock garden. Ooh, a rock garden, wonderful. Oh, and you even have Stonehenge. Stonehenge is one of my favourite items, so I approve of this rock garden. Wow, this must have taken a long time. Um, no, they basically just ended up spawning here. Oh, wow. You must have lots of flowers. Yeah, I love the cosmos. I just think they, they look great for little wild areas. Okay, awesome. Enchanting, I should say. <laughs> And I don't know what to do with all my lily of the valleys. They're driving me nuts now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Mole of mine are spawned in one area too, so it can be forgiven, I think. Yeah, I just keep moving them around, but they kind of fit that area. So my features are deliberately plain for the most part because um, my island's quite full. So I've left my beaches not too cluttered, but I do have like a little shower area, Oh, Anka. Oh, Anka. Good villager. Yeah. My campsite is on the beach. Oh, very pretty. So when your villagers have their friends come and stay, they can stay right on the beach in front of their houses. What a great idea. I will admit, it was just dumped there because I didn't know where else to put it. I, I was begrudging <laughs> the space because I had plans for everywhere else, but I kind of liked it, so it stayed. Yeah, no, I agree. My, my campsite is like a beach campsite, like just off the beach. Uh, Very pretty. And here are some of your villagers' houses. Yeah. Who do we have? So we have Luca. And this is one of my newest additions. This is Vladimir. Vladimir, he's got a lovely pink house. He's very pink. Very pink. And very sweet for a cranky as well. And this is Pashmina. Lovely. You have so many unique items here. You've used them all in very creative ways. Yeah, I tried to like space them all about. And although my villager gardens aren't specific to each specific villager they're, they're sort of themes those trees are gorgeous outside this house this is Genji's house and he's a jock oh yes I can see and those are his colours the feel of your island is very like natural I like the furniture that you've used, it's very nature inspired. It all fits together very well too. I think it's brilliant. Thank you. Little seating area here, this is very sweet. Yeah, this is for my residence. In fact, earlier today I did manage to take a photo of myself and Lopez sitting on a bench together. Nice. Surprisingly, he <laughs> did run away. And then we cross back over to my courtyard. And we are back at Abel's. Yeah, back at Abel's. So it's all very central. So I've got both shops by the plaza. And then the museum is just off here. And this is just like a little garden crafting area. Oh, and we have to ring the gong. You have to ring the gong. Every time. Very beautiful. This is very beautiful here with the um, flower arrangements. As you come up here, it's quite grand. That, that gong is kept there for you. Of course. <laughs> Everyone who comes to paradise leaves with a gift. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Handcrafted on paradise. An apple dress. Oh, thank you. I'll wear it now. As you know, I used to do a lot of crafting sessions in the beginning because I had more of the DIYs than a lot of people. Yeah, so this area has been my crafting area for a very long time. Thank you very much. This used to be my um, breeding, my flower breeding garden, 
which is why it still has a lot of the hybrids because I kind of like the Lovely. color combinations and just left them there. No, I agree. Very, very quaint. And then we come down here. Oh, is this the bar? Oh wow, we've got all the it's a cowboy bar. I love it. <laughs> oh, how creative. I love how each area of our island is specially themed. Oh, what a fantastic time. What a fantastic island. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you've gone non-alcoholic. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> no, I've got the leprechaun. I've got an Irish coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So last stop is the community hall, which has all the amenities that an island needs. Okay. In we go. So we have the library to start, study room, the flooring in here is just fabulous, what great flooring. Oh the library, yeah, mm. I would love that in my house. We have a pool room. It's a bit like a trophy room, really. All of these trophies and the shark. Oh, and you have a bakery. Wow, it's stunning. Wow, what a fantastic room. So, Oh, look, we have all your little helpers in here helping. What are they doing? They're crafting all the souvenirs. Oh, so my dress would have been made in here, my souvenir. Yes, dress. yes. By, by our, our special artisans. Perfect. So what would you say would be your least favourite villager out of all of the villagers that you've had? Marina. <gasps> Blasphemy, that is. <laughs> She's creepy. The, 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 all the octopi are creepy. She, she slithers along. Yeah, I can understand that. Just, oh, no, no. <laughs> And she was a normal as well, so she was really boring. True. The normals are quite boring. I love your town hall room. It reminds me of um, the town hall in Gilmore Girls. Yes, great show. Yeah, it, I, every small town should have a meeting area. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Right, back downstairs to the final room. <gasps> it's a party! So would you say this is a nightclub downstairs in the basement? Yes, yeah, it was going to be a church hall, but then it just turned into a nightclub. Well, I don't that's know. the only logical path, isn't it? Right, let's party. Yeah. <laughs> hey, party time. <laughs> so would you say this is your favourite room out of all of the houses that you've made? I, I, I like my house. I mean, I like all my houses, but I, I like my actual house. I guess it's the one that I spend the most time in and, and I don't see many houses with using the fruit furniture and things like that. So Yeah, I agree. The fruit furniture is very undervalued. Oh, we're going to a special area now.
So, what is this area that we have arrived at? This is my homage to Mario. Just a little extra tourist attraction. Perfect to do after you've been drinking in the nightclub. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling a bit woozy. <laughs> so I'm making it through the maze, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so creative, especially with... And it looks so green and lush. Very Mario-esque. With the, um... Hello! <laughs> oh, look! There's the finish! We made it! We made it! And the coin. I think this area is so creative. And we've got presents at the end. There's our presents! Yeah, sorry, you can't take any. We're, we're, <laughs> we're okay. a team pilot. Okay, so now you've seen everything there is to see in Paradise, apart from one last area, which is our stargazing area, where you can end the night gazing into the sky. Lovely. Can I go up this ramp, yeah? Yes. Lovely. Well, thank you for having me, Amber. And thank you for letting me tour Paradise. It's been an absolute pleasure and thank you very much for letting me share paradise with everyone else. Of course, anytime, anytime. Well, thank you guys for watching. We hope you have enjoyed our tour of paradise. I certainly have had fun. Remember that if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. And my links are all in the description. Follow me on Twitter for daily natters. But we'll leave it here. Thank you again for watching and see y'all later. Bye.